2026 is shaping up to be another year with many releases from DJI. As for now, we know four products will surely come out in the first two quarters of 2026. But new leaks suggest more details about other upcoming products that were unexpected until now. Let's start from the most anticipated one, the Pocket, F which might unexpectedly come in two variants, the Pocket 4 Pro and the regular Pocket 4. As you can see in this image shared by Osita LV on X, we can notice two new gimbals that don't have the Osmo badge under the screen, unlike the Pocket 3, which is in the middle. The one on the left should be the Pro model, and it's the same we saw last September in other leaks. But the other one on the right seems to have a smaller camera module, featuring a single camera setup. The regular Pocket 4 is shaping to be the real Pocket 3 successor, but the most exciting one is the Pro variant with a significantly bigger camera module that houses an additional zoom lens. Speaking about the design, while it might look very similar overall, we can notice two new buttons that can be revealed when the screen is rotated horizontally, and there are reports of a new frame tap remote, which could be a sort of remote compatible with these new gimbals. Speaking about the camera hardware, the main lens should still be powered by a one inch sensor, which is rumored to be 50 megapixels, and according to Drone XL, it might be able to record up to 6K at 60 frames per second and in 4K at 240 frames per second. With 10-bit and D-Log M support, the battery will also be upgraded from 1300 to 1545 milliampere hour. Considering how powerful this camera appears to be, the price could also be higher. According to Drone XL, it will range between $600 and $700 depending on the bundles. But unfortunately, nothing is confirmed about the release date. I would personally say we might see it come out in the first quarter of 2026, considering we got the first FCC reports in October, and the testing appears to have reached a pretty advanced phase. Let's move on to the second DJI product coming this year, the Avatar 360, which will be the very first competitor of Anti-Gravity A1. And it looks like it's also very close to being released as we got our first look at the box and the first details about the camera specs and the price have surfaced. And if they turn out to be real, it could once again set DJI's domain in another new category of aerial videography. We already had our first look at it a few months ago, but Quadro News has just leaked the price of all the combos on X, along with the first details about the camera. First of all, the drone will come in four bundles, a drone-only version two combos with the RC2 controller, one with three batteries and the other with a single battery, and finally an FPV kit with DJI Goggles N3 and the Motion Controller 3. What's interesting about this drone though is that, unlike the anti-gravity, it won't be limited to FPV piloting with goggles, but it will fly and record as a regular Mavic, and that's the real advantage on top of the much lower price of the drone. In, in fact, the camera module will rotate vertically hiding one of the two sensors and placing the other right up front. In this mode, it can be used as a normal FPV drone in acro mode, or like a cinematic DJI drone with a controller. It packs three use cases in just one product, but versatility won't be the only advantage. The price will also be significantly lower than Insta360's drone. We're looking at a starting price of about 450 euros for the drone-only version, and the motion combo with the goggles will be priced at around 900 euros. Historically, DJI prices outside China are about 20 to 30% higher than the direct currency conversion from Chinese yen. So keep in mind that these prices are all estimated considering the leaked Chinese prices, which would suggest much lower price points but unrealistic expectations. But the leaks don't end there, as new info about the camera has also surfaced. As you can see in Quadro News' leaked box image, the video recording resolution will reach 8K at 60 frames per second. However, there's one big downside compared to the Anti-Gravity A1, the weight. While Insta360's drone weights at less than 250 grams, the Avatar 360 might not, potentially making a license required to fly it in many countries. Another downside, which can however also be seen as an advantage, will be the form factor. Given the fact it can also fly a Chrome mode FPV, a rigid one-piece frame with duct propellers was required, compromising on portability. 
while the anti-gravity features folding arms that make it very small and easy to carry, but a lot more fragile and less powerful, as it is not capable of flying in acro mode and it only reaches 57 kilometers per hour, while the previous models of the Avatar series could fly at 97 kilometers per hour in manual mode. As for the release date, I would say it will come out later than the Pocket 4 since we still don't know much about it, but it will still definitely come out in the first two quarters of the year. Finally, there's another new product coming out in the first few months of the year, the RS5 Gimbal. According to Quadro News, it will feature upgrades to battery life, which will be 15% longer thanks to the new BG33 handle, the tracking system and intelligent composition features will also be upgraded, and the maximum payload will remain the same at 3 kilograms. Let's now cover the more unexpected products that are more likely to come out in the second half of the year. The first ones are part of a new series of products, named Lito. According to the new camera, the Lito X1 could be a series of accessories, since in the FCC ID details are only mentioned 5 to 12 volt inputs up to 3 amperes, and they're compliant with the FCC Part 15 interference-free operations. So it might be a new controller or charger. The first leaked image of it doesn't really look like any other accessory or remote in my opinion, but we'll surely know more about it in the next few months. And finally, there's one more thing to cover. This new leak shows the record of DJI FCC registrations. And right at the end, there's also the Mavic 5. What this could mean is that it will only be registered in 2026. It might not be the release date. This might just be a placeholder for the future registration. That's about it for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to not miss any new update and drop a like if this video was helpful.